The course is intended for staff that are wishing to work within mental health. Um, so anyone who works on an inpatient unit, whether they be a support worker, a staff nurse, uh, occupational therapists, uh, ward clerks, ward managers, um, anyone who works on an inpatient unit will require to have PMVA training. The course is about giving candidates a range of skills to help manage, prevent and deal with violence and aggression from service users. Uh, we also aim to give candidates a better understanding of why an individual would escalate towards verbal hostility or violence. The biggest surprise amongst all candidates is that it is a physical course and there is a lot of movement involved. It helps candidates understand that we are holding people sometimes against their will. We are restricting some of their liberties and this can cause people to move towards hostility or violence. We want candidates to understand that that's a natural response to pressures placed upon a person. If we can get candidates to recognise these kind of warning signs and intervene beforehand, uh, trying to reduce or eliminate that pressure on the service user, then we can hopefully prevent uh, the escalation towards violence. The course is five days. Within that we have some theoretical elements, so there's reading material, uh, policies that need to be covered, uh, we have speakers that attend and they'll run through things that candidates will encounter whilst working on the units. Uh, such as professional boundaries, how to maintain them, risk management, uh, rapid tranquilisation. Um, we also have a speaker that comes in and talks about therapeutic engagement. There's um, the recovery partnership between the Dorset Mental Health Forum and the Trust. And we have a service users perspective, so they come in and, and let us know how it was for them when they were restrained, uh, had these uh, boundaries placed upon them, restrictions are placed upon them. We also teach uh, basic life support, uh, breakaway training, so if you were by yourself and someone was to take hold of you, how would you affect that release and then move away from that person? But the majority of our course is spent teaching the techniques on how to uh, restrain someone with the least restrictive manner in the safest way. The significance of role play within our course is to help candidates kind of consolidate those singular techniques that they've learned on the mats uh, with no resistance at a dry run. When we use role play, it helps for candidates to understand that it's fluid, that we don't use one singular technique, that we could use three or four techniques in a row. We've also found that it helps candidates to understand that they have the ability to be able to manage this situation while someone's actively resisting against them. Uh, so a lot of candidates who come in very nervous about it, after the first kind of role play that we do, there's a greater understanding, actually, I have the ability to do this. We'd advise that candidates prepare for the course by keeping their general activity day-to-day uh, -day moving, um, even simple things like cleaning your house, cleaning, moving your arms up and down, uh, bending down to clean the, the bottom of the cabinets. These things on the course mimic what we're doing, so bending up and down off the floor constantly. Um, we don't require fitness addicts, we don't require a massive level of fitness. Some candidates may find that actually observing or talking about actually running through these techniques it will provoke an emotional response within them it's not something that we aim to go out and restrain people we do this because it is a last resort and to prevent harm to themselves or others actually restraining someone is is a, is an ordeal so we would ask that candidates kind of think for a moment, place themselves in that position. How would I feel if I had to hold someone on the floor whilst uh, they were distressed, uh, screaming and shouting? If a candidate feels that they need uh, some support, whether it be uh, physical or emotional support on the course, um, 
what they'll find is that their, their peers on the course, fellow candidates, generally offer good support. Uh, as tutors, we will, we will do our best to offer any kind of support, whether it be to support someone's uh, injury, old injury, or how they're feeling about what they're doing. In terms of working on a unit, uh, again, peer support is, is really big. We have debriefs after every incident, and it's an opportunity for staff to mention kind of how they thought that situation went. If they, if they feel that it's affected them internally, emotionally, then you can always contact your line manager. We have um, psychologist support that's available to staff if they require.